Yeah, you put my one to say. <laughs> I rewatched the fight. I rewatched when they was in the back too. All I gotta say, Bud was cheating. He listened to Tupac and shit, man. No, Bud was cheating. He got the cheat code and shit, man. Come on, man. Look, he stacked his hand rest. He put egg weights in it. I'll pay this. He took, he took a pad and not the gloves. Nah, man, they put nah. something in Aero Spence water. No. What else they done? They done did everything. Nah. They had the AC high on um Spence side. <laughs> they cheated. I don't care. Run it back. No, nah, man. But no, nah, I, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to rematch. But now nah, he he showed me. He showed me there's levels to it. And, um. Like I said, I didn't expect because because um I, I tell you, I tell you what one thing in particular that happened in the gym that I saw. B was had nervous energy. So he came at him a certain way, and that caused Bud to change how he fights that day. This that squad side. <laughs> I would be remiss if I didn't ask you guys about the fight that happened last week because <clears throat> you you have experience with <laughs> B. What's up? Why you made the face, B? <laughs> I'm hurt. <laughs> now you you had a, a a legendary sparring war with uh now pound for pound number one best fighter in the world, Terrence Bud Crawford. According to Ring Magazine, he is the lineal. Two-time undisputed. He got all the belts. He got everything you want now, right? You are a welterweight. He got everything you want. Um, right. Talk to us about your experience uh, and, and what happened there, because you know it was legendary that you knocked him out or you had him doing the stanky leg. No, I don't know, I don't know where the knocking out part comes from at all, but uh, with me and uh, Bud, um, Crawford, it was just real good work. We did three rounds with four minutes. He do like doing four-minute rounds. It was just real simple. Um, I was at the time he sparred some guy before me. Then it was me. Then he beat the brakes off somebody who, whoever was after me. But yeah, it was just quick, easy work. It, it was before um, the Sean Porter fight. But I was going for Spence in that fight simply because I feel like I vibe to more towards Spence. You get what I'm saying? He real fundamentally sound. I feel like I, that fits more so with my style and. You know, Spence, he seemed like a real cool dude. So I, I was vibing. Right now, Spence, my favorite fighter. So I was vibing really heavy for Spence. And then that second round happened. My spirit left my body that day. I was I was sick. <laughs> I was sick. <laughs> but shout out to Crawford. Uh, he did his thing. He showed that it's real deal levels to boxing that he is uh, one of the um, one of the best fighters ever. He, you, you, can't, you can't deny that. Because Spence, you could definitely say he a dog, but well, he just did the spin. That wasn't even a fight. He just went out there and just beat that man up uh, nine rounds. Uh, Senior, what did you what did you see? Because I saw you at the fight. Um, what, what's your take on what, what you saw? But also compare it to what you saw when you was when he was in the gym with your son down here in Atlanta. Compare it to. Do that. You, I mean, you just asked like the perfect question. You would do that. So. <laughs> I'm trying to be great out here, man. All right. So this this is what it is. And this is the debunk all the bullshit. Don't be stupid. I'm not gonna be stupid. I'm gonna be real. He didn't. He did not knock Terrence out. You got all the lies about not. You got all the lies about um. You got all the lies about him being in camp with it. No, 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 no. It was nothing like that. He came down here to see Shakur fight. Shakur in the fight. Jamel he came. Heron. He came down here to see Shakur in the fight. Jamel Heron. He he heard about B. He stopped through the gym. To Spar B, when he stopped at the gym, Spar B, they only did twelve minutes total ever in life. Like he said, it was three, four minute rounds. Um, based on that performance, I didn't think that he could beat uh, Errol Spence. Again, that lost me a lot of money. <laughs> that lost me a lot of money. 
uh, that day, I I think a different buzz showed up. It could be bad day in the gym. It could be ego. It could be a lot of things or whatever. But I'm here to say, that's why I conceded on anything I ever said it on. That man is the best fighter in the world at this point. And he showed that there's levels to boxing. And uh, again, the person that showed up that sparred other people in the gym that day was not the same person that got in the ring with him. It wasn't the same person. He, he took on a whole different form, and that form wasn't him. Yeah, he was actually chilling. He, yeah, he was yeah, chilling. yeah. Woods in the ring. Yeah, yeah. He, the form the form wasn't him that he took on with him. But I wish he wouldn't have did that shit <laughs> because it lost me a lot of money because he did that shit. <laughs> so from that point on, I'm thinking that he was not what they saying he was, but apparently he's exactly what the fuck they say he is. <laughs> Matter of fact. I, okay, hold on, slow down, slow down, slow down. That's a lot. That was a lot. First of all, why do you have nervous energy? This is another day at the office. Is it because it's Bud Crawford? You what because you always in shape, you always ready. It ain't like he about to like Brian. You seem like one of those people. You're more you're the most comfortable in the damn gym. You get what I'm saying? I am comfortable, but I still get nervous myself. You get what I'm saying? So, like, even yes, before the fight, people were saying Bud was number one. So, of yes, course, that's I'm getting my spirit and stuff like that. Now I'm not scared. Yes, ain't nothing wrong with being nervous. So um, I hopped in. As you see, um, my nervous energy asked me actually for for expected. So um, ain't nothing wrong with being nervous. It's a part of life. It's, it's all about how you deal with the nervousness. But but on the other end, what I was saying. So, so let, let's go back to what you were saying. That you know, he was nervous, so he approached the fight a certain way, which made Bud approach differently too. How was that? Did that all happen in a series of a one round? Was it the second round? Or in the series, first thirty seconds. First thirty seconds. <laughs> it happened in a series of thirty seconds. Well, yeah, he first. could tell you was nervous, and so he got more aggressive. Like, talk to me. And on the outside looking oh, in, you can't tell I'm nervous. Yeah, yeah, no, no, he, no, I, I knew because I know him. He just, it was like this. Okay, if you ever watched him fight, you know, sometimes like you seen him when he jumped. Okay, I tell you what, I, let's put it this way. Yeah. He jumped, yeah, it's perfect. The fight that he fought in January, where you see he jumped all over him on the first round, that's what he did. That's what he did to to Crawford the first 30 seconds. The exact same thing. He went ding, at ding, 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 boom, 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 hooks, uppercuts. You just blitzed. That's how I deal with my Crawford. Nerves. That's how he deal with his nervous energy. He do that until he settled down. Crawford grabbed him. He told Bo Mac, Oh, we got us one. We got us one. You know, suggesting that this is finna go down. And uh um, got a live dog in there, somebody who who dog in there, right? He got yeah, this dude ain't scared. This dude ain't scared of me. He gonna fight back, right? And so, I, and that's what had me thinking that I knew his mind, you know, in the fight because at that time he went to another type of fighter. Yeah, he, we, we, he, we were we were yeah, going yeah, at yeah, yeah. He they went and he tried to go at it with him, and everybody know Terrence don't fight like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he not a he not an inside type of stand up type of fighter until he get you hurt. You know what I'm saying? He uses his brain. He uses his mind. He, he steps back. He do shit like that. Nah, he tried to go. He tried to go blow for blow with him. You know what I'm saying? So in my mind, I I thought I held Spence to a, a very high level when it comes to that kind of shit. And I I, I thought with the anger and the build up to the fight and the so called talking about his mama and the you know all that shit, I I held it and I really thought that he was gonna let his ego get the best of him. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I don't know what he thought. I thought he was going to let his ego get the best of him. And I, I just really didn't think he could stand under Spence Powell. As it was going on, I got to thinking. I got to thinking what he was doing when he was moving back and just stepping off. And no, Arrow didn't look, Arrow did look weak. Arrow didn't look this and that, whatever. But certain things, if you look at it, Arrow was actually Arrow. It was just, it was buzzer, but it was just too good. <laughs> he, he, he did look weak. But still, at the same time, he still was doing, Arrow was still doing some of the things he do is just some of the little step back. And then he got them long ass 74 inch reach arms and he was like just picking them apart. You know what I'm saying? And shit, we cannot. We can't, we don't make your face bust up. You know what I'm saying? We don't bust your face up like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. I just, I just didn't see that coming. So then as the fight was going on, right about around five or six. I started to realize and, and rethink the shit that I did know. And I was like, wait a minute. Errol Spence don't have 
knockout power. Uh, what I mean by knockout power is one, one punch, punch knockout. Yeah. One punch knockout power. Like you've never seen that, but Bud does. You feel what I'm saying? So I was like, so even oh, when he called him with them, I think I was one or two right hands. Oh man, and, and Bud took that shit, which is what I was banking on. <laughs> but when Bud took that shit and, and, and just kept picking them apart, man. I saw my money gone. <laughs> it was it was over with, man. It was over. With. I was like, you should have talked to me, senior. You should have talked to me, man. <laughs> I would, man, that. I've been breaking this fight down. You would, I would have convinced you. And you and everybody else say the same thing. There is you didn't see what I see, so you can't tell me you would not have convinced. I see already. Errol Spence enough to know he fights a certain way. Yeah, I thought that his. I thought that. I, I know. I understand what you're saying, but I thought that it was gonna be a. Because because of the build up, that's it. You thought, thought was, you thought he was gonna be trying to get his lick back. He was gonna fight out of character because yeah. of all the yeah. anger. All right, what what was you about to say, B? Steroids. That's what I was gonna say. Oh my <laughs> god, B, I gotta hold up. I'm putting a case on you. Never hoid of it. it. Never hoid of it. What is going on here? You know, you know, you know. I know you joking and trolling, but I'm telling you, when I drop this video, they're gonna be like, "See, Brian Norman Jr. said it." No, he, he knows. He played. He played. So everything. Everything. He, oh, he, he played. Clean fight. He the clean boy fight. bad. He bad. He, he the best. He the best ever. He bad. He the best. He the best fighter right now. Fighter in the world right yeah. now. Cause see, <laughs> you ain't got real. He betting against his ass no more. You know, yeah. I, I kind of slick. Cause I like him. I, I you know I see him listening to Tupac. I like him. I never did not like him. I like him as a person. He seemed cool as fuck as a person. Uh, so I never really did not like him. I just thought what I thought. You know what I mean? And then his fucking fans, <laughs> his fans was another story. I don't, I'm not the one to sit there and bicker and go back and forth, but I'm looking like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? You know what I'm saying? It's like the tank fans and shit. Like, like I don't vibe with them people like that. I don't vibe with jock riders like that. I'm not a, I'm not an arrogant sack rider. You get what I'm saying? I'm not a no fighter sack rider. Oh yeah, man. He, he, I don't do that. <laughs> Boy, has a type of fan. I don't know. If, I mean, I, I see, being that I was on Errol Spence's side, I see Errol Spence got those type of fans too. Everybody got those fans. Those type of fans, yeah. but like the type of fans that Tank got, the type of fans that Errol got, and the type of fans that Bug at that time, bit I was like, y'all motherfuckers. Now, all the all the top fighters. Look at Canelo fans. All of them, they yeah, they, they, they crazy. Do fans be different, boy. Yeah. Those fans be different, man. Fan, so look, fan do me fanatic. So again, again, um, I kind of slick hope. I kind of slick hope just just a little bit. I hope that I I mean I, I really do now. I got I got a hope. I ain't no slick. I hope that Arrow get the leg back. I, I hope to Arrow get it back. Yeah, I, I want him to get. I think back. he need to leave that man alone. I I want him to get the leg back. I I mean I not not like that. He can't he can't get beat like that. You know what I'm saying? Like and you know I used to be a fighter, and as a fighter, of course we won't get back. As a fighter, yeah, that yeah, fuck getting a get, and that don't sit well. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I ain't that, don't that, sit, that don't sit real as a fighter. I didn't you know fight I mean? that fight, so I can. I'm on the outside looking in. You better leave that black man alone. That nah. nice, that nice young gentleman. You know? nah. <laughs> <laughs> now I, I understand. I understand. I understand what Arrow said. You know, I, I was with him when we you know people. I, I was, you know, meaning with him. You know, I, I agree with him when he said shit like, "Oh no, nah, we got to run that shit back." When he said, "Ah man, I felt his. I felt that." Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I told, you know, my partner called me. He was like, yeah, man, but he can't beat that man. I was like, it appears that he fucking ain't got a chance in hell to uh, beat that man. But with that being said, I asked him, I said, let's say a man come to you to your house. A man comes to your house and he beat your ass like he physically whoop your ass in front of your kids, in front of your wife at the cookout, at your cookout, in front of the kids, your wife, your family, all of your people. Because they was at PBC. So he comes in your house and he whoop your ass in front of all your people. And he stood over you and said, now what you going to do about it? You get what I'm saying? So so I said, with that being said, how do you that? <laughs> you get the strap for him. It's time yeah. to get the strap. <laughs> you you got to do, you got to try. You got to do something. You know what I'm saying? He can't go out like that. It was too bad. It was too bad of an ass whooping. It was too bad. I mean, he said one side of the ass whooping, it ended up being the other way. One side of the ass whooping, it was too bad. It matter, was of, too bad. matter of a fact, I called the ninth round TKO for Spence. Now look at where we at. Two. It was. It was too. It was too. It was too bad. It was too bad. He got. I. I, I think he can do better. I think he will do better at one fifty four. I think you know a couple of things like he can't go rushing in and. and I mean, it was. But, but the biggest thing was the speed difference. 
It was a lot of differences. Yeah, that was a lot. Of that was the biggest. Nah, the biggest said it was a lot of differences. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was a lot. It was a lot. And, and from a coach's from a coach standpoint, be outside looking in, that was a lot of work that needed to be done. It was a lot of difference. Like, and of course, things that we don't think about because it was working for us. So why the fuck you want to change it? Well, wait, wait, wait. wait. My bad. My bad. Oh, uh, Spins don't faint. He wouldn't faint a lot. He can't. It was. It was standard. Just. It was like. Easy money, you know what I'm saying? And then Crawford already, look, yeah, right. Crawford already longer than you. He's taller than you. He can step right back. No, and Crawford is shorter. Crawford is shorter. Longer. He's longer. Oh yeah, he definitely got two inch, two inches on the reach. Seventy-two. He's longer than him. He's longer than him. So Crawford already longer than you. He can step back. Watch you throw this shit right here. You know what I'm saying? Come over that same. When you right here, come over that same shit and hit you. Come on, man. Yeah, I, I think it's a lot that need to be done, which is about something like that. My bad. Oh, oh, oh. What I was going to say was, I can't say Spence didn't look like Spence even in the back room. Even though you was going for Crawford, I'm pretty sure you seen that. The boy looked sleep. You feel me? Uh, he wasn't up at all for real. He came out, no sweat on him. You get what I'm saying? So, hopefully at 150, he was dehydrated. Hopefully at 154, he come back and be the Spence I know. I ain't gonna put money on them because I lost. Yeah, hell no, nah, I ain't putting no money. I just, on I just, guys. I just, I just lost some money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I want to, but hell, no. but I do want him to win if they do fight again. I want, I want him to win too. I mean, my, I think Crawford is gonna win, but I, I still, I want Spence. I want him to get. I want him now. It's different. Now it's, it's a different, it's a different thought process. I, I thought he was gonna win before because of what I thought. Now I want him to win because of the ass whooping he took. He needs to get that shit back for respect as a man. He needs to get that shit back. <laughs> he got to like drop him. He got to make that shit. Got to beat him up, man. He got to get that shit. He got to get that shit back. He got to get that back. Me rolling over here, man. Y'all, man, y'all. I love the chemistry between you two guys. Um. I do want to touch on two things and we can move on from this um, because I see it's uh, traumatizing for you both. And I don't want to put you guys through any more trauma. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. I put these punch stats up because you said something interesting. People said this was not Arrow Spence. And you said this is Arrow Spence. He threw more jabs. He threw more power shots. You get what I'm saying? He threw more punches in total. Right, but but unfortunately, he he threw more uh, body shots, All right, and landed more. All right, but it just it seems like he wasn't as prepared for the counters, the speed, the power. This uh, Bud didn't switch, but started off uh, southpaw. Um, do you think they were underprepared or underestimated him? Also, I got to ask you guys when he when you work with him, was he southpaw or right hand? Got to ask. No, he was southpaw with us. Um, but I don't think he under under um under prepared anything like that. I just think it was um I'm making a weight drain, anything like that, you know. That that's that's the main thing. But then also I can't say under prepared under pre prepared a little bit because like my daddy said, no faints at all. At that level, you gotta have some kind of you gotta have some kind of fame, some, some kind trick. of something. You, you gotta, gotta have some tricks. Some, you can't you just know? it can't just drill. You can't just you drill. can't be an up and down person. Now with Crawford, you can't just drill like that. Yeah. I was at that Frank Martin fight, and um, I was at press row with that, and I don't know what round we was on, but we the media was sitting there looking at each other and saying, "Frank is down. He's losing." And one of the things we were talking about was like, "He's not even faint. Where's the faint? Derrick, does Derrick James not teach that?" But or is he not implementing it? But Frank Martin rapping. wasn't fainting. Errol Spence wasn't fainting. Um, um, I'll ask. I'll ask you. Uh, I'll ask this to you, um, Brian. Since since working with him and doing four minute rounds, I had Rachel and Nonito Donero on, and they was like, "Why are you doing four minute rounds?" Because I saw an, another interview and you spoke about you did. I think it was you. Was it Tiger Johnson as well? Who else sparred with him? Was it no. you and Tiger? I don't know the third guy name. I just know he'll beat the brakes off of. I don't know who it was, but um, the first guy that was Rich Richardson Hitchens. Richardson Hitchens. Okay. Yeah. They, they was just like, the reason why I said Crawford wasn't who he was um, during fight night because he was he was just playing around with um, Hitchens or whatever. Like he was just you know just moving around, just doing whatever he wanted to do with him. So um, I can't really say nothing on that. He was he was chilling. Since then, have you have you? Uh, how do you feel about doing four minute rounds of sparring? Is that something you thinking about implementing yourself? 
Do you feel like that gets you to that next level? Or is it like, no, fights are three minutes. Why am I doing four minutes? What do you think of that? Yeah, we actually have been thinking about doing it for a while now. So the first time we went up with uh, Boots, he was doing four minutes also. So, um, I mean, it's common uh, it's common sense. If I could do four-minute rounds for uh, 12 rounds, I could definitely do three-minute rounds for 12 rounds. That's common sense. And I could push the pace even more because I'm used to it. What, what do you think about that, Coach? Um, did you hear the question? About the four-minute round? Yeah, since working with Crawford and seeing, uh, I had Rachel and Onito Donaire on, and they was like, "Why are you doing four minute rounds? The fight is three minute rounds." Like, like you, you. I'm trying to remember how she explained it, but she said basically you'll condition yourself to not push as much because you think you got more time. I'm probably gonna. She probably gonna kill me when she see this. Like, I didn't say that, Mark. You fucking up. Excuse yeah. my language. She's like, you messing up my words. But um. She but they, yes. but they totally disagree with No Need to. You know, y'all know No Need to Donaire, nine right. time world champion, future Hall of Famer. And he was like, nah, I don't see the point of doing um, four minute rounds. What do you guys think about uh, what do you think about that, coach? I, guys I see, I see the benefit of it. I, I mean, too, it's better, it's better to do too much, not enough, especially as long as you, you, she just saying, like, it's like a, it's like a, um, I guess they're looking at it like a pace. a pace. So like a 200 meter race as opposed to a hundred meter race, 400 meter race. Of course you're going to go harder. Of course the you're going to go harder for the hundred, you know what I'm saying? Cause you got to pace yourself through. But, but if you got a coach there, they can press you and make you, and that's also, I'm sorry. Let me, let me, let me, let me switch that up. But that's also why they changed the fighters. The fight is the fighter is the people that are in there with. You get what I'm saying? The, the, if you put, if you put the type of fighter that's going to make them work, this whole time, mm -hmm. and you don't have the, you know what I'm saying. If you do what you're supposed to do, you don't have the, the you don't have the, the option <laughs> to let off. If you put a fresh fight in there, that's why they put. It's like what is four, four, three or four different fighters they go. Maybe three, three fighters. So they go three fighters. You know, three one, one do three rounds, one do three. You know what I mean that that way. So now it's four. That'd be three. Oh, we all do four rounds. Okay. Anyway. Oh, they all do four rounds. All right. So anyway, if you do it that way, then, then that fight you get, you know, he's fresh. This man is fresh. You're not fresh no more. So if you get it, even if you roll the way back out, that man is fresh. He's not gonna let you wait. He's not. That's his job to not let you let be lackadaisy. You know what I mean? And he know you're a little tired. And he way. know you're a little tired anyway. So he need to press you. So I see the benefit in it. I understand what they're saying, but I will have to uh, disagree. I mean, perspective and perception. You know takes president over everything, so it's your perception whether you perceive it. I mean, that, that's if that works better for them, then that's fine, but to me, I like the four-minute rounds. Now, I, mean, the four, I like the four-minute rounds, yeah. Now, if y'all both, if you're just one sparring partner, then it'd be stupid, because y'all yeah, both gonna yeah, be tired, yeah. Hopefully I'll be tired. and y'all both sense. gonna be lazy. Right, right absolutely. Yeah. But if you do four-minute, you got you got the different uh, partners or whatever, no, nah, I definitely see the benefit. I'm glad. This that squad side.